हेलो वेलकम टू द सेशन फिबोनेसि सिक्वेंस यूजिंग रिकर्शन एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन द स्टूडेंट विल बी एबल टू इम्प्लीमेंट प्रोग्राम टू फाइंड फिबोनेसि सिक्वेंस बाय यूजिंग रिकर्शन इन सी नाउ विल सी व्हाट इज द फिबोनेसि सिक्वेंस द फिबोनेसि सिक्वेंस इज अ सिक्वेंस वेर the next term is the sum of previous two whatever the previous two terms are there the addition will be the next term the first two term will be fibonacci sequence are 0 and 1 now here you can see 0 1 0 1 plus 1 is 1 1 1 plus 1 is 2 1 plus 2 is 3 3 plus 5 is 8. 8 plus 13 is 21. 21 plus 13 plus 21 is 34. Now to calculate next, we have to add 21 plus 34. So it will be 55. Now, uh, one more way we can find it. That is, if I want to calculate term 9, then I have to go for the before two terms. That is. Term nine minus one and term nine minus two, so term eight will be there and term seven will be there. So here term eight is twenty one and term seven is thirteen, so it will be thirty four. So if we are knowing the previous terms, then it is very easy to calculate the Fibonacci next sequence. Now here we'll see the Fibonacci sequence with the iteration first. will be having i is equal to 1 up to the n terms and then we will go for the printing the term 1 so what is the term 1 term 1 here we are having 0 and t2 is having 1 so first term will be printed as t1 t1 is 0 so this first term is 0 then what we are doing next term is equal to t1 plus t2 So zero plus one, it will be next term. That is a one. Now next, what we are doing? T one is replacing by T two, and T two is replacing by next term. So what will happen in this case? Our T one will be replaced by T two. That is one, and T two is replaced by next term. That is again one. So here that will be again printed into the loop. So here it will be one. Again next we will see. what will happen t2 will be replaced here and next term will be replaced here 1 plus 2 that will be next term is 3 so here it will be printing t1 is 1 t2's value previous t2's value that is 2 and t2 is equal to next term that is 3 so it will be 5 and that time your t1 is 2 so it will be printing 2 and this one is Fifth round, we are having. Then at that time, we are having t one is equal to three, this one, and t two is equal to five. So next term, it will be eight, but t one is three. So five terms it will be printed. One in the recursion, what we are doing, we are having this function for the recursion that is, if n is equal to equal to zero, we'll return zero. It is one. then we will return 1 otherwise we will recursively call the fibonacci series here the previous term that is n minus 1 and plus its previous term is n minus 2 so what will happen in that case in the previous term we will see the procedure if i want to calculate 3 Fibonacci is term three. Then it will call its previous one that is two, and its previous one is one. So it will call two and it will call one. Then two will call one and its previous zero. When it will having next call, that time it will return one. Here it will return zero, and then one, and this is zero. It will come to this Fibonacci term. And this one, it will come. This Fibonacci series, and then 
they will be having at this position that is in this way th it is going to calculate step by step it is this is the biggest number if we are having to consider 3 then it will calling the smallest smallest and smallest like this where the answer is there where the solution is there and that is returning by calling itself that is returning by calling itself so this is what the Fibonacci sequence with the recursion what is the use of this recursion in this though we are having the iteration method in this case we are not needing that term 1 term 2 or next term just we are having a single variable of which we are calculating the Fibonacci now how it is implementing as we are seen that we in the recursion we need the stack concept in the stack in the memory now in this case we will see the same Fibonacci of 5 then this is 5 it will call 4 and 3 then again the next call will be 3 and 2 and 3 will call 2 and 1 then next it will call 1 and minus 1 and then this will call 0 and minus 2 like this the step by step they will be calling this and now when it is reaching to this location now its end so this is the solution of the problem so it will answer with 0 then it will pass to here it will answer with 1 and that one will be re replaced here it will be one and that will be passed to the next that will be two and then two will be passed to here and then it will be three so this is your answer for the Fibonacci five with this five terms zero one one two three so this is the stack where we are maintaining this answer so first we are pushing all this one by one our first one this one then second then next then next and then next and then they are answering and then we are popping one by one zero then one one two three like this again what you can see this the function of five it will be calling 4 and that will be calling again here it will be calling 4 and 3 it will be calling 3 and 2 and here it will be calling 2 and 1 and then it will be calling last one so minus 1 and 0 so here finally it is producing as your n is 1 that time it will be returning 0th value because the answer of this will be the answer of this function will be 1 minus 1 it is 0 and minus 2 so the first it will be returning 0 value then it will be forwarded to this so it will be returning 1 then it will be forwarded to the next it will be returning one just we have seen in the stack how they are returning then it will be written two then next it will be returning three so the output of this the solution of this they are popping it and they are forwarding to the next so this is our answer with the recursion So find out the value of the Fibonacci 6 here. The table is showing that the all values you can find this what is the term here it should be. Pause the video and find out the answer. Answer should be 5 plus 3 that is 8 because the previous values are there 5 and 3. This is the reference. Thank you.